Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Phoebe Ross. I'm an aspiring author on the traditional publishing path. And uh, it's another vlog. It's a vlog we are revising. I have an edit letter from my mentor that I've been working off of. A lot of ideas flowing and I'm probably like, I'm basically through this pass of revision and I call a pass like from chapter one to chapter the end, <laughs> uh, making an entire sweep of changes end to end. That doesn't mean it's done. This revision is not done. I want to read back through it, do consistency checks, trim some words, make sure things still fit. But that first pass is pretty much done. I've really just got like one chapter that I'm trying to tweak. Um, but yeah, this pass is almost done. I feel really good about it. And I'm dying to read back through it because there were some significant changes. I mean, instead of killing someone, I banned a book. So <laughs> I, I, I'm just really excited to see how these changes affect my world and my people. Tyson, um, has basically shifted a lot of his mindset towards a final project to kind of give him that a plot that is completely missing from my story so he's got this final project now that he's working on a film project and uh long story short i've had to write a poem of sorts for this project a rap if you will for a rapper you could say so <laughs> but i actually think it's going really well because it's just poetry it's all about delivery and jamal can deliver I'll take care of the poetry. So <laughs> it's actually so fun. I'm loving, I mean, I probably stayed up till midnight last night just typing into my notes app, trying to, you know, say what's so frustrating about living in this world for these characters and eh, kind of for me too. <laughs> so um, I'm really excited. I've got to take this poem wrap and kind of lace it back into the, the right moments. And then I think it's time to read it through. Ooh. I also checked in with Carolyn to let her know how it's going because I've been kind of on the DL. I haven't really, I've just basically been head down and not really checking in with her, but I did touch base and I told her it's going well. Um, I'm sure we'll uh, have a, like a one-on-one -on -one eventually here soon. But most importantly, it's really, really, really time to get donuts. Like it's so time to get donuts. Put on your red dress, baby, cause we going out tonight. Put on your red dress, baby, cause we going out tonight. Baby, to wear some boxing gloves in case some schoolboy wanna fight. Put on your high hair sneakers, wear your wig hat on your head. Put on your high hair sneakers, baby, in your wig hat on your head. But I'm pretty sure now, baby, so you know you're gonna knock It is a beautiful Sunday morning. It is the 14th. Last night I went hard on the rest of this passive edits. I read all the way through it in a speed read. I would not recommend that. I decided that I'm not going to call it done <laughs> because I read too fast. But I am, um, I'm gonna take a couple days off. I'm gonna look at my agent lists because I kind of get the sense that when Carolyn and I feel like this passive revision is done there's nothing else to do but go back to the query trenches there's nothing more to do with it besides send it out to sea so I have to revisit my agent lists um I did compile a list of the agents I have contacted in the past um who are probably not going to be open to looking at this version again um I'm going to check out their agency houses and see if there's anybody else there that I think would be a good fit and just kind of get back into research mode for querying. And uh, that hasn't really sunk in yet, maybe because I haven't had any coffee yet this morning, but um, it's wild times. <laughs> I, I do know that there are a couple agents that are 
aware that I am and, and author mentor match and they're actively going to be wanting a full when I'm done. So I don't want to rush it and I don't want to put all my eggs in those two baskets. Those two eggs in this one basket. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I am hoping to get some reading done in the next couple days. Some videos edited, I'm working on that. Ah, my best friend, one of my best friends is getting married next weekend. You, like, you all know, you all know, it's Alyssa, I've, I'm in her wedding. Um, so that is gonna be a, just a really sweet next couple days. Very, hopefully laid back. Uh, I'm just excited for the week and I'm excited that it's not Monday yet and I can chill for a little bit longer. I wanted to go get like, I don't know, my eyebrows done or something before the wedding, but I'm probably just gonna do that myself, maybe paint my nails. I have to watch to all the boys I love before three because I have been putting it off for like a month. So I don't know, I just feel like it's gonna be a great day. Can we keep it down? Bring the liquor and the reefer out. There's no need to shout, I'm chilling with my people now. And everybody see me sleep on their couch. And I ain't got a lot of money, but I'm not feeling down. I'm feeling proud how I'm still around. And didn't drown in the shit I used to worry about. Didn't frown when I used to tie my pockets out. Locking me down, I've got me a sound that's hot and it's loud. Pop it and bounce. The city lights, they blind my eyes. When they this video quality is all over the place because part of the time I'm filming with my new camera, part of the time I'm filming with my iPhone because my camera keeps cutting off, just cutting right off, right in the middle of my filming. So don't love that. Got to figure that out. Um, however, I think I found a giant chapter that just like really, really shows what an asshole my bad guy is but he's an asshole already without this chapter that's taking up a lot of space and is not really serving Tyson so I'm tempted to cut the whole thing that's what you gotta do when your book's too long you gotta get it done you gotta cut the darling and in this case I'm cutting what's the opposite of a darling the douchebag Sometimes you gotta kill your douchebags. <sighs> but it's like, uh, this chapter's been in the book since literally like the third iteration. And I loved it so much. I remember it so fresh when I came up with the idea. Mm. But it's time to be ruthless, so let's go. Exciting news. I just um, wrapped up a meeting with um, a flight instructor and I get to begin my in-flight training in a couple weeks. I'm working on my ground school. I have to make a little bit more headway, get my medical, and then I will be an author to be, a pilot to be, and just in general, a bad bitch. And so very excited about that. Look how beautiful this place is. My, my coworkers judging me. But like, mm, 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 mm. there we go. <laughs> ah, I love it. I love it out here. It's so flat, which is wild because I'm like four minutes away from the mountains. Crazy. Don't understand. Maybe it's because it's man-made. Oh well. Also during my lunch break, I was able to work on more writing, which is wild because everything keeps happening and it keeps happening consistently and we just love structure we love having structure back we also love the sun cutting my face in this cute diagonal oh that's a big airplane <laughs> so <laughs> i basically skipped the chapters that required a lot more brain power and i'll save those for tonight when i get home but yeah i mean besides skipping i probably skipped four chapters i'm at like 30 now this is going way faster than i was expecting and I still feel good about everything. Now, I won't make those same promises on the read-through, but <laughs> for now, yeah, big things popping. It was funny though today, uh, not writing, plane related. A little bitty putter, little putter prop plane was coming up and then they turned out of the pattern really fast. So like basically they made a sound that scared me. <laughs> like 
like their engine shifted gear and I was like, what's happening? Uh, obviously this, they were probably training and their instructor was with them, but yeah, they're supposed to like fly in one direction like everyone else as they take off and then turn out. <laughs> Instead, homeboy was just flying over the building. I was like, okay, be careful, bye. He's fine, he's good. Um, everybody learns and it was really like, it wasn't dangerous, but it was just odd, odd times. Uh, I'm excited about everything. Okay, let's go home. The day has finally come. I've got my dress, I've got my fuzzy slippers, and I am ready to go meet my bride. Good morning. <laughs> oh my gosh, happy spring. Happy first day of spring. So I haven't done a proper vlog in like a week or so because um, it's been a wild week. Yesterday, uh, two of my dearest friends got married. I was in my wedding. It was magical. I'm actually on my way now uh, to go pick up some groceries for them, drop them off like a sneaky little mouse at their front door. Um, because I can't really do breakfast in bed at their own home. Um, but I can be the porch fairy. And then, also last week my friend had a baby. I cannot wait to meet that baby. His name is Brayden. I'm so excited. Um, <sighs> two friends closed on houses. That was amazing. I, I bought some tulips. That was exciting. Um, doo -doo -doo. It's my favorite flower. I've got a couple, but only a couple of them have sprouted. But what else? I did technically finish my revisions and I was about to press send on that file to Carolyn this morning. But then I was like, mm, I can cut a few more words. So I'm going to try to cut a thousand words later today. But for now, I'm just enjoying spring and I'm going to go feed my little newlyweds. We got everything. I think we got everything we need. Everything they might need today. Fruit, cinnamon rolls, pain reliever, soap, and a sponge. I don't know if they like sweet tea or orange juice, bananas. Oh, there's some eggs in there, some toilet paper at the bottom. They're gonna be so situated. I'm so excited. We have this goes. I don't know if this is gonna work, but let's try it. I feel like I'm in for a good morning again. So the goods have been dropped off and I am very excited because I just popped back into my document. I started chopping words and then I realized that there was one more part that I wanted to tweet. How I wrapped it up, the, the last line of the story, um, the last segment of the poem, it's so exciting and so good that I could be tempted to actually change the name of the whole book. Like if my editor, someday, my editor comes to me and says, Hey, I don't love your title. What else you got? I, I know exactly what I'm going to propose. But yeah, so I, I've gathered it up. I downloaded it. I sent it off to Carolyn this morning. I know she's got a lot on her plate, so I'm, she can take all the time she needs. I'm going to revisit my query. I'm going to revisit my synopsis because it's, a little different now and um query synopsis i did already go through my agent list um folks that i've queried before that would be open to viewing it again after this it's been six months since they saw the last version it's actually been like a year since they saw the last version who of those folks i can query again which agency houses i can revisit for a different agent to approach and there's still a lot of folks from that first agent list that I never have queried because they were closed and now they're open. So so I probably have about 10 names I can query now. 10 names I would love to query as soon as they're open again. And then that still leaves about 15 to 20 other agent names that um, I haven't even looked into yet. Um, I know that they have, I, my story falls in line with their manuscript wish list from last year. 
um, but there are still names out there if I exhaust this this group of people. So I don't really know what the next couple weeks hold as I'm waiting on query responses. That part um, can be grueling if you don't have something to preoccupy your mind. Your bit. Something to preoccupy your mind. So, uh, we'll get there. Maybe I'll become a pilot. Maybe I'll focus on pilot training. Who knows? Who knows? I also feel like that's a great place to wrap up this entire vlog. So, um, I want to just thank you guys so much for watching as per the usual. If you are new to this channel, again, my name is Phoebe Ross. I'm an aspiring author. I'm on the traditional publishing path. I am very excited about it. I hope that I have an agent soon, but I'm not there yet. Um, and... If you like this type of content, you should absolutely drop in the comments. That way I kind of know, like, what do we think is fun? Do we love to suffer together as an aspiring author with other aspiring authors? Like, how do we feel? Um, don't forget to check out some other videos around the channel. Suss out the vibe. And um, if you did make it this far into the video, please drop a little book emoji in the comments. That way YouTube knows that uh, I'm actually cool and fun. But yeah, let's go. Um, let's call it. Thank you so much, you guys. Catch you in the next one.